Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at how to calculate percentage yield. So when we um, think about percentage yields, we need to do two things. We need to know how much of a product we think we should get, and we need to know how much of a product we actually get. And this is going to be less than the amount that we think we should get. Because this is the equation, um, percentage yield is actual yield divided by expected yield times 100. And this is the first question we're going to be looking at. So, in a reaction, 14.3 grams of calcium oxide is made. It is expected that 19.2 grams would be made to calculate the percentage yield. So, let me just circle those two numbers. So, our actual um, our equation is... This is our equation, um, percentage yield is actual yield divided by expected yield times 100. So our actual yield was 14.3, our expected yield was 19.2, and then we need to times that by 100. So 14.3 divided by 19.2 equals, then times it by 100, and we get 74.5%. So your calculator has a lot longer, longer number than 17.5 on it. And um, what I've done is I've rounded up to 17.5. You should always give um, your answer to the same number of significant figures or decimal places that they use in the question. So Bant's equation predicted that um, a reaction would produce 165 tons of a chemical. When the action was performed, they produced 143 tons. What is the percentage yield? This is the equation that we're going to be using. So our actual yield was 143 tonnes, our expected yield was 165 tonnes. And we times that by 100. 143 divided by 165 equals times 100. And yet again, I'm going to give my answer to the same number of significant figures that was used in the question. So I'm going to say it is 80. Okay, so biochemist performs a reversible reaction. She produces 11.75 kilograms, but expected to make 17.89 kilograms. Calculate the percentage yields and suggest the reasons why the yield is not 100%. So this is the equation that um, we have. Um, so our actual yield was 11.75. Our expected yield was 17.89 times that by 100 and we get so 11.75 times 17.89 equals oops 11.75 divided by 17.89 equals times 100 equals 65.6 So this um, question has also suggest reasons why the yield isn't 100% and they've told us it's a reversible reaction. This is a symbol for a reversible reaction and what it means is as things are being made they're also being unmade. The two um, reactions are happening at exactly the same time. It's not stuff gets made, it pauses and then gets unmade. They're both happening at exactly the same time. So with a reversible reaction we're never going to get um, 100% yield because stuff is always being unmade. So reaction was expected to produce um, 37.59 grams um, but actually only 12.54 grams were produced. Calculate the um, percentage yield and give your answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. So our actual yield was 12.54 um, well, I expect you to do is 37.95 and times that by 100. 12.54 divided by 37.95 equals times 100 equals 30.04 grams. Not grams. Percent. Okay, so this one is a touch more complicated. 
um, they expected to make 15.6 grams of product and actually made 17.5 grams of product. So it's surprising because um, you expect to make less product um, than you're actually expecting. Upon further analysis, the product is found to be 60% pure. So the first thing we need to do is take our 17.5 grams and times that by 0 0.6 to get our 60% of it. 17.5 times 6 equals 10.5 grams. So we can say that we actually got 10.5 grams um, of our product and that is going to be our actual yield. So 10.5 divided by 15.6 times 100 equals equals times 100 equals 67.3 percent.